Breaking news, Nigerians. APC women leader in Castina confesses to be bandit informant, got part of several ransoms. Hmm. She confessed to have participated in another cattle wrestling operation, which also fetched her the sum of 20,000 naira only. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for stopping by. You see, the fight of insecurity in Nigeria is not going to end. It's not going to end. Because these people will not let it to end. They are benefiting from it. It's so sad to say. One Aisha Abubakar, a, a woman leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, who doubles as a bandit informant, has confessed to receiving only 5,000 naira from 9 million naira and a motorcycle paid as a ransom to bandits in Castina State. Abubaka reportedly organized the kidnap of five members of the family of Sayeya Ward, APC chairman, and was paid the, the said 5,000 naira, imagine. In a viral interrogatory video, Abubaka revealed how she supplied information leading to the kidnap of one Alaji Sanusi, two wives and three children of the APC chief uh, chairman in Tasia Yawad in the Matazu local government area of Castina State. She confessed to have participated in another cattle wrestling operation, which also fetched her the sum of 20,000 naira only. I was approached by one Zenab, now at large, to provide information on Alaji Sanusi and the family of the chairman to enable a successful kidnap operation, and I did. After the ransom, including 9 million naira, and the motorcycle was paid, I was given a share of 5,000, though with a balance of 15,000 naira to be paid after I returned from a wedding ceremony in Zara. Other key actors within the Saya community were Yaya, Yaya, okay, I would do, Na, Bani, and the children of Baesh. I was also a key informant in the successful cattle wrestling in the Saya some time ago. And I got 20,000 naira from that operation. Aisha Abubakar confessed. You see what poverty, you see what poverty have done to these people in that part of that, in that part of the, uh, this country. You organize a kidnap because of 5,000 they are giving to you. Or twenty thousand naira, whatever. What of? In the means of this kidnapping of a thing, they kill those people. What will you tell your God? You see this issue of banditry in the northern part of this country. You know, go fear and do, because it has turned to family business. It's not looking like every family of every household must have a hand somehow. If you not carry gun, you go be informant or you go be somebody when they supply them food items in the north. You see this issue going on in the north. Give the northern part of this country 10 years to come. If they don't address this issue of banditry in their region, if they think that waiting for federal government to address it when they know the, the role they are playing in there. They are lying to themselves. It will not end. Give the not 10 years, 10 years to come with the way things are going right now in their region. In the northern part of this country, it will be no go area. By that time, every household has become bandits. 
right now, they have stopped children of going to school. Parents do not even want their children to go to school because you wouldn't want the situation whereby you send your child to school and the next day you have to start looking for money for bail. Where is the money? And those children, they have denied going to school. They are going to brainwash them tomorrow. Yes. Somebody who is not doing anything, 1,000 naira is a big deal for them, to them. And they will accept whatever they Imagine a grown woman collecting 5,000 naira to give kidnappers bandits information to kidnappers.